Welcome to Edge Kids. As a family, we get to know Christ, be the church, and serve our community with a message of hope, truth, and love. We're so excited that you're here with us today. Hello, everyone. Welcome to week number eight of our series called It's Miracle Time. Do you remember how we, what's the little thing we do? That's it, ready? It's miracle time. Once more, it's miracle time. You're right, and what is a miracle? A miracle is something that is impossible that only God can do. Because the Bible tells us that with God, all things are possible because it's miracle time. So today, we're gonna look at a story in the Bible that I know if you've heard this one before. It's about fishing. Can you pretend to go fishing? Ready? Whoop! Whoop! Reel it in. Once more. Ready? Whoop! Oh, I've got a big one. Got it. Okay. This story is found in Matthew chapter 17 and I like to call this miracle the miracle of the money fish. I'm going to jump straight into this story and you're going to meet some fun characters from this Bible story. So it starts off with a tax collector. Now they're not really a policeman, but they did help keep the rules. And when people owed them money, they went out to get their money. And then there's a guy in this story called Peter. Peter was just an ordinary guy, kind of like you or I, but he was one of Jesus's followers, just like me just like you. And then we've got Jesus as well. I love Jesus. Do you love Jesus? We all love Jesus. He's the best. Okay. You ready for the story? Okay. One day, Jesus and his followers, including this guy, they went to a big town called Capernaum. When they got there, some tax collectors like these guys, they came up to Peter and they were the men who collected all the money. They asked Peter, Does your teacher, Jesus, does he pay the temple tax? Does he pay the money that he owes? Peter, who was always pretty quick at replying, he answered, yeah, of course he does. Jesus does, yeah, of course he does. Then Peter went back to the house where Jesus was and before Peter could even speak to say what happened in the conversation, Jesus already knew. And Jesus, he started saying to Peter, he started chatting to him all about who should pay the tax, who shouldn't pay the tax. And he decided, you know what? We're going to pay the tax. So Jesus gave Peter very special instructions of where he could get the money from. It's a miracle money because Jesus thought it's miracle time. Ready? Say it nice and loud. It's miracle time. Once more, it's miracle time. So Peter went off and he followed Jesus's instructions. Jesus told him to go down to the lake and go fishing. Let me get my special fishing rod. Okay, Jesus went, uh, Peter went, out he went, he's out fishing. Do, 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 do. Can you go fishing? Ready? <gasps> Reel it in. And then Jesus told him, you only need to catch one fish. So he waited. Do, 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 do. And then, whoa, whoa, he got a fish. Whoa, it's a big one. Whoa, whoa. Jesus said, you're going to catch a fish. And when you do a really big one like this, when you do, there's going to be a coin in its mouth. Can you see that? There's miracle money inside the fish. So he told him, get the coin out of the fish. And then that is going to be what you're going to use to pay the taxes. A miracle. And the amount of The coin, the amount that that was, was the exact amount that they needed to pay Peter and Jesus' tax. So Peter went do 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 back into town. And you know what? Then he went, he got the money and he gave it to this guy, the boss man. And he said, there's a miracle. Here's our tax. We can pay it. How cool is that? Miracle, miracle, miracle. There was miracle money inside a fish. That's a crazy miracle. We're going to hear another pretty amazing miracle of what God has been up to. Hey, Edge Kids. I wanted to tell you about an amazing miracle that one of our young adults experienced. One of our young adults loves soccer. Who loves soccer? Yeah, I know. There's a lot of you that love soccer. 
Well, she was at her soccer training and while she was doing one of the drills, she fell over and she actually broke her arm. So she had to go to the hospital. They put it in a cast and said, this could be about eight weeks. Eight weeks is a long time. Can you imagine not being able to play soccer for eight weeks? That is so long. But anyway, after a couple of weeks, she had to go back and they wanted to check. And just before she went, she thought, what am I doing? I don't need to just wait for a doctor. I can actually pray to God. So her, with one of her friends, who's also another young adult from our Edge family, they sat down, they prayed, they prayed the prayer of faith that God would heal her arm. And that afternoon, when she went back to the hospital, they took the cast off, took another x-ray and found that she was completely healed. I know, amazing, right? So she could go back to soccer straight away which is kind of cool. But what's more cool is that our God is a miracle working God. So Edge Kids, don't ever stop praying for miracles, okay? Love you guys, see you soon. Wow, what an amazing story. There is no doubt, it is miracle time. Do you wanna do it once more? Ready? It's miracle time. It's miracle time. It is miracle time. Do you need a miracle? Do you need help with something? Is somebody sick or someone really needs to know that Jesus is with them? Have a think, have a think. Put your hand up if you can think of one. Yep, do you know what? Jesus knows exactly what that miracle is that you need. So I'm going to pray and I want you to pray after me. So I'll say a little thing, then you can say it after me. I'll repeat it as well. So you can join in in a nice loud voice. You ready? Let's close our eyes. Dear Jesus, dear Jesus, I love you. I love you. I thank you. I thank you that you can, that you can do miracles do miracles and I believe and I believe that you will, that you will. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. Great praying. I love hearing you pray and guess what? It's miracle time. It's miracle time. Love you guys so much. See ya. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's amazing that we can gather together, grow together, and go together. We love you so much, and we can't wait to see you again next week.